gonna make you a world with these two hands today Put our love, memories and laughs in all that I create My sister recently bought a set of chairs at a garage sale, but the upholstery had seen better days. So we laminated an adorable cotton fabric to make cute and kid-proof cushions. You aren't limited to old-fashioned upholstery fabric or ugly oil cloth. You can make a regular quilting cotton into a durable, wipeable surface by adding iron-on vinyl. I bought this heat and bond off the bolt for about $6 a yard at Walmart. This opens up a lot of possibilities, since now you can use just about any fabric you like. We wanted a print that was fresh and modern and fell in love with this egg blue lightning bugs fabric in the Birch Farm Collection by Free Spirit Fabrics. We got it from FatQuarterShop.com and they have hundreds more high quality designer fabrics to choose from. I also got a package of Clover Dry Heat Pro Pressing Sheets from the Fat Quarter Shop because these are really useful when dealing with a heat sensitive material like vinyl. I'll tell you more about these later. Finally, you'll need a lightweight staple gun and staples. A staple gun costs around $10 and the staples run about four. Start by unscrewing the cushions from the chair frames. It's best to remove the existing upholstery fabric. Depending on how the cushion was upholstered, you may need to remove the previous staple. You can do this with a flathead screwdriver if you don't have a staple remover. Iron your fabric thoroughly. There is no need to pre-wash as the chair fabric won't be removable. Lay your fabric out face down. I got two yards and that was enough to cover six of my chairs. You may need more depending on the size of your chairs and whether you select a directional print. Lay the chair cushions face down on the fabric. Cut the fabric leaving a border of two and a half inches all the way around the cushions. Lay the cut piece of fabric face down on the paper backing of the iron-on vinyl. Trace, then cut out using paper scissors. I don't, 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 don't feel afraid to innovate. Don't, 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 don't miss a chance to be creative. Don't, 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 don't. Try this at home. Try this at home. Move the cut vinyl to a flat surface. Carefully peel back the paper. The vinyl is slightly tacky, so try to keep it flat and smooth while removing the backing. Lay the cut fabric face down on the tacky side of the vinyl. Smooth out the fabric completely. If you get a wrinkle, you can reposition the fabric and try again. Now it's time to iron the vinyl to the fabric. The instructions on the heat and bond say that you can reuse the backing paper for this. However, the paper is opaque, so you can't see exactly what you're doing. I've had occasions where I've unintentionally pressed a wrinkle into the vinyl, and it ruined my fabric. So I would highly recommend using Clover Dry Heat Pro Pressing Sheets. These are translucent and will protect both your iron and your fabric. Lay a sheet on top of the vinyl side of the fabric and press on medium heat without steam. Be sure to keep your fabric covered at all times as the vinyl will melt instantly if you touch it directly with the iron. The heat will seal the vinyl to your project, making one smooth and flexible piece. Now we can cover our chair cushion. I found that it helps to reduce bulk if you trim the corners into a wide V. It's best to start with a shallow cut, so you don't accidentally take off too much. You can always cut deeper if needed. Lay the fabric face down and your cushion face down on top of it. Starting at a corner, tuck the fabric around the edge and staple to the underside of the seat. It's pretty much like wrapping a present. The trick is to keep all of your wrinkles on the underside of the seat. This will take a bit of smoothing and manipulating, but it isn't difficult, especially when you're working with a thin cotton instead of a heavy upholstery fabric. Continue to staple all the way around, then screw the seat back onto the chair.
That's it. Now you have an adorable reupholstered chair that is durable and kid-proof. Just wipe up spills with a damp cloth. To see hundreds of fabulous fabrics or to order clover pressing sheets, visit FatQuarterShop.com. For more crafting tutorials, visit my website at MadeByMarzipan.com. Try this at home.